Hello friends. Today I am going to discuss about the topic Wittig reaction. It is a very useful in organic synthesis. I take methyl iodide. Is heated with triphenyl phosphine. to give this salt this is methyl triphenyl phosphonium iodide this is wittig salt this is wittig salt If I add base to this Wittig salt, here base is strong base, using strong base such as N-butyl lithium in presence of tetrahydrofuran or you can say sodium hydride or sodium ethoxide. This base abstract this CH3 methyl hydrogen. Because of this positive charge on phosphorus atom, this CH3 hydrogen will be acidic. So we get this one. This is a structure of elite. We can also write in this way. This negative charge goes here. This is elite. What is elite? Elite is a species which contains an ionic carbon. Covalently bonded to a positively charged heteroatom. Here X may be nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus. For phosphorus light. Here negative charge goes here to perform resonating structure that is PPS3 and for sulfur elide here it is sulfur atom So this negative charge comes here, so form this also, both this structure are resonance stabilized. Because of this, Because of this lone pair, can involve P pi, D pi, 
bonding with d orbital of phosphorus and sulfur atom here p pi d pi bonding due to presence of d orbital of sulfur and phosphorus atom but in case of nitrogen elide here negative charge if it comes here then it forms this is not possible because this nitrogen there are no d orbital so this type of conjugation is not possible so it is not resonance stabilized due to no d orbital or nitrogen atom now i am going to at aldehyde or ketone into the elides aldehyde or ketone I go for aldehyde. Here, elide CH2 PPH3 plus. This negative charge of elide attacks here, and this bond opened up to give this one. Here it is positive and this negative charge attacks to carbonyl so here and here it is R and here it is hydrogen this negative charge conjugation conjugation here and we get this one Now, this bond goes here to give triphenyl phosphine, phosphine, phosphine oxide, triphenyl phosphine oxide and this bond comes here to give an alkane like that. Here the product. alkane and another product another one it is triphenyl phosphine oxide if this one is ketone if this one is ketone then what happen that is hydrogen is replaced by another alkyl group so this alkyl group here again and again and this form this one if it is cyclic ketone if it is cyclic ketone then this one cyclic ketone and we add this one 
this one attacks here and this negative charge comes here to give this one here CH2 PPH3 and this negative charge attacks here and this oxygen conjugation with phosphorus atom and this bond comes here because phosphorus oxygen bond is very stable so this bond comes here and this bond comes here so we get this product alkene and triphenyl phosphine oxide thanks for watching